Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick demo on the new Carnival Free Palette by Be Perfect. I've been waiting a week for this to come. I didn't want to do makeup until it came because I was like, do you know what? I'm not inspired at the moment, but I was like, do you know what? As soon as I bought this palette, I was like, I need to play with these colours. I just need to play with these colours. Yeah guys, I'm going to be playing around with this palette today. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. I've been off YouTube for a week now. Feels like longer, but I'm back now. So let me know what you want to see in the comments below and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this eye makeup tutorial demo, kind of. Yeah, let's just get straight into the video. This is the eye makeup we're going to be doing today, as you can see. Really nice and purpley. I just thought, you know what, the purples in this are so nice and there's so many different tones. I really appreciate how it's, it's like laid out, like they've done like this, this and this, like there's different like, like three sections and they've kind of done it to where it's like, you can work it in quads, so like every four kind of goes together, um, which I really like as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes. Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer. This is the Infinite, Infinite, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is just in C5, and I just like to put it underneath. I like quite a neutral to like pinky base for my eyes. Um, I don't know why, I don't feel like a yellow base, obviously like, it tampers with the eyeshadow colours, that's why I like to keep it quite neutral. So C5 is a really nice like neutral colour, as you can see there, it's not too yellow, it's not too pink. I'm get a flat brush and blend that out, and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush just to blend out the edges, as per usual. If you have not watched my videos before, this is what I always do, so I'm just going to try to skip through it basically. So the first colour I'm going to go in with today is called Blackberry. It's just this really nice deep purple. We're going to go in with a MAC 217 brush and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to stamp it in the middle and just work my way inner and outer just to create that crease. Be quite careful here though just because I wore lashes the other day just like to go out for food. We ended up having two desserts because like the whole 50% um, off um, scheme in August. You have to book and I'm like, oh, it's fine. There's loads of, there's loads of restaurants in entertainment near Sheffield. Um, yeah, we couldn't get in anywhere, so I had two desserts for dinner. Um, and I put lashes on and I did my makeup, just skin makeup. I thought, I have to wear lashes. And it's still reoccurring. I know I keep forgetting to make a video about it, because obviously if you guys are going through it, I want to help so you can see what I've done to like help it and stuff. But it's just a shitty situation for me. I can't stop looking at my lips. If you don't like the way my lips look, I have to say this, if you don't like the, the way my lips look, like obviously that's your own personal preference, I just feel like when I looked at my old videos and my lips being like overfilled because I got them dissolved, I got a whole video on it. I only had 0.5 in but my lips do swell up obviously because you've got a needle in your face. It's going to swell up in it. So this will, will go down. Um, but I, just, I don't know, I just feel like it will look crazy on camera my lips but they will go down. I literally had them done not even 24 hours ago. I had them done at 7 p.m. yesterday. So <laughs> I feel like I don't want to move my mouth too much to where I'm stretching my lips basically. But they don't hurt that much to be fair. And the second colour I'm gonna go in with, I'm so chatty. The second colour I'm gonna go in with is called Fruity, which I absolutely love that name. Oh my god. Right, so I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M506 brush. I'm kind of gonna do the same thing, but just like go back and forth over that last colour and just blending out all the darkness. So we're just using this to like literally buff out that colour we've just put on. Take the colour Lilac, which is that uh, lilac kind of colour there. I think it's not as lilac as I thought it would be. It's more like lavender. I'm gonna take a buff and blend BB22 brush. Again, around the edges just to blend that previous colour out um, and just kind of go on top of that. It's like 50-50 blend basically. So like I'm going on top of the last colour and then just blending the edges out. Oh my god, do you know what? I don't know why, but every time I have like a purple eye makeup, I always think like, ooh, Urban Decay vibes, because Urban Decay is very, very purpley. I don't know why. Every time I've literally put purple on, I'm like, mmm, Urban Decay, but it's not Urban Decay. <laughs> is everyone else like that? Like, they see a colour, like, ooh, this reminds me of this. I'm really happy with that blend. That blend is just so satisfying. So, I'm going to take the Morphe M506 brush and a little bit of that darkness. Just on the outer corner before we cut the crease. And then I'm going to do my usual cut the crease perfection kind of vibe. So I'm going to take the 
Nivea Glow Shake Eye, Eye Makeup Remover. You don't have to use this. I have to use it because it's got um, zero perfume in it and I've got very, very sensitive eyes. Um, and they hate me when I wear makeup, but I, I wear makeup anyways, basically. But my eyes are sensitive as hell, so I like to use this on a cotton bud, a bamboo one. These are just from Aldi. Um, I'm pretty sure they're like 80p for 200, so. And I'm saving the planet a little bit. Am I? I don't know. I don't know too much about that whole thing, but I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna map out my crease where I'm gonna cut it and stuff, and I'm gonna go in with Blank Canvas by P. Louise. And I'm just gonna go straight on top, just filling it in. You know the drill, just cutting my crease out. It's very satisfying to watch. Yeah. Then after doing this, I just add the darkest purple back in. Yeah, again, like the same step we just did. Just with a little Marf M506 brush. Kind of smudge it back in. Reminds me of a butterfly wing, don't ask me why. I just think, oh, butterflies, and like, kind of like, like, like remotely like a butterfly. I'm like, it does in my head. <laughs> So I'm going to take the colour Blackberry, the darkest purple again on a Molly O'Brien M01 brush. This literally, I used this for eyeliner, like wing liner the other day. Wow, that's all I'll say, wow. I'm just going to create that little like smoky liner there. And it's going a little bit higher on the outer corner. Take the black from the palette, obviously not a black looks like, but I feel like I need to show you guys. You're like, what are, you, what are you using? I'm like, the darkest purple. And then I'm just using the black on top of this just to smoke it out a little bit. Just so we've still got that like eyeliner effect. So I'm going to take some NYX Glitter Primer. Just before I put the shimmery colour on the lid. Because I just think it helps it to grab a little bit easier. Um, you don't have to do this step. I just This is just a personal preference thing. So I'm just taking a flat brush and putting that on. When I was doing this makeup look, I was like, oh my gosh, should I use this purple? Or should I use that dark purple? Wait, that dark purple. Did I have purple gone? Oh, that dark purple. I was like, I don't know which one to use. I should use this rose pink or this or... I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna go with the pearl colour because the pearl colour, I don't know if you can tell, it's got like a blue shift to it. And I was like, oh my god, that looks lovely. Like, you can see it's got a little bit of a blue shift to it. Like, it's such a unique colour. I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna use that. And the, do you know the glitter's in it? Like, some of these eyeshadows have got like glitter like pressed in it as well. And I'm like, do you know what? I actually really like, not admire that. I'm very impressed by it. That's what I meant to say. So what I'm doing is now, same brush, opposite side. I'm just patting that shimmer on. Yeah, perfect. So, I'm going to do the underneath now. So I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Concealer C5 again. Using a big buffer brush with this just to like softly blend it out as well. I'm just going to tap my finger on the outer corner. Just so I didn't mess that outer corner out. I've seen a lot of people doing this like recently, like using their fingers to actually blend the concealer. And Jacqueline Hill did it as well. I was like, oh my god. I need to try that. I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Let's pop that in there. I was going to do this purple, um, the waterline, but I wanted to keep it nice and white just because like, it'll match the lid colour and it'll open it up still because what happens when I put um, eyelashes on, kind of like makes my eye look smaller. Do you know what I mean? Like It kind of looks smaller. I take a little itty bitty brush, the colour Blackberry, so the really, really dark purple. That one there. I'm just gonna really tight line underneath. I think that's the right word to use. Someone kept using it when I worked at MAC, like, oh, we're just gonna tight line. And I'm like, oh my god, I love that word, tight line. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this, make it a little bit darker underneath. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe M506 brush with the colour Fruity, and I'm just gonna go all underneath there and blend that out as well, just going back and forth. Just making sure you connect it out a corner as well there. I'm going to pop off camera, put my skin on, my lashes on, um, and talk about the palette and what I think about it. This is the finished look, guys. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. I am absolutely loving this palette so far. I've only used the purples, like I said, but I'm definitely going to do a rainbow look and stuff like that. Like, it's just so satisfying. Can't wait to do more colours. Let me know what kind of colours you want me to use in the comments below. And I'll definitely do a tutorial on this. Do, like, masterclasses and stuff as well every Thursday for £5. Like, a really in-depth tutorial. Because it was just, like, a quick one. But if you want a really in-depth tutorial, then message me on Instagram. I always go blank. I'm like, what? I really love the palette. I expected to love it and I do love it. There's nothing bad I can say about it so far. So thank you guys for watching and tuning in on this video. I know I've been away 
for like a week on YouTube, but I just needed some time off because I've been feeling quite down and stuff. I haven't even acknowledged that I've got my hair done. My hair is a lot more blonde now. I need to tone it though because it's looking, oh no. It's looking more yellow on camera. I don't know why. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. It does help me out just to spread my video to more people. If you like my videos and you watch my videos quite often, why not subscribe what you're doing? Go down below and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching this video, like I said, and I shall see you guys in my next one. Thank you Lord for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.